Today, we are looking at the Fujitsu Quaderno, but not as a review, we've already done that. And the third gen is the same as the second gen, except this one has color. What we're looking at today is the PDF capabilities. In fact, it only runs PDFs. Now, this thing is a very good device. It is lightweight, it works well, it has a great pen, it's running Wacom, you can use any pen on the market, and overall, it just functions properly. Not to say it's the most perfect unit in the world, because it's not. As we mentioned, it only runs PDFs. You have to load it in via your computer. You can't sideload apps. You can't do really any multimedia capabilities on this outside of just reading books, PDFs, manga, and anything else that has a .pdf extension. So in that regard, it's not the most perfect device, but for professionals, it could be. One of the first reasons I really enjoy this device is the really cool NFC unlock. And some people might say, oh, that's useless. Well, sure, but it's pretty cool all the same. Now with the PDF engine, you get the same palette up top. Now whether you're on a PDF or an ebook or the note taking experience, you're gonna get the exact same palette. So with that, you'll have different pens and you'll choose from the pencil, the fountain pen and the paintbrush. You also have highlighter, you have highlighting text and eraser with the colors. You also have eight different colors. White's really nice because it basically erases the PDF, which is can come in handy. And then you get all the other quick key colors as well. Now you do have a couple different ways to highlight. For example, if we go to another page here, we can do a freehand hi highlight in which it just highlights wherever we draw, then we can erase the highlight, or we can go over to the text highlight and highlight some text. Now this can also be triggered without having to go over there. For example, if I am on the drawing portion like that, I can also press the secondary button and make a highlight that way. Yes, you can erase the highlight and erase the notes very, very simply. So if I circle this guy's head and then make some highlights, you might say, well, you know, I've done a lot of work so far. Man, what did I do on that other page? What you would do is you would click this top thing and then go to the annotations list. I love this. Everything you highlight down to the very beginning all the way to the very end gets indexed into the highlighting text. Furthermore, everything you have handwritten, every single circle, every single line will be written here. And they actually outline every single line that you have written. And you can easily go over to it by clicking it and it shows you exactly where you've done it. Even if you make a little check mark, that's it. You would go here and it automatically gets indexed into the handwriting list. It's so cool. There it is right there. I love that. Now, outside of this, you get some line thicknesses, some colors and some pens. There's no shapes. There's no anything like that. Well, what more can you do? On this side of things, nothing really. That's where it ends. You do have the ability to pinch and zoom, which is nice because after you do, you can go ahead and make these super thin pencil line details and it is flawless. It is such high resolution as well as you do it. It's so quick and seamless and then when you zoom out, it just banks it perfectly and you're like, wow, how'd you write that small? Well, you write that small by going into a zoom level that goes beyond the thin level that you're able to choose. And it also does have pressure sensitivity, so don't worry about that. Now, the three dots is where you're gonna be going to a lot. You have page jump. Page jump is just like it says. You have 246 pages in this particular PDF. You can jump to said page by just clicking that. If you go back here, we have page thumbnails. It just organizes things in a kind of photo gallery type setting and then you can click on something and jump directly over to there. Clicking on this again, you have display documents side by side, which is going to be the same as this. Open side note. When you click open side note, it automatically opens the book on one side or the PDF and a notepad on the other. Doing so will allow you full access to the PDF on this side and the note taking on this side. Now, what is amazing about this is that you can choose two different things. For example, I have a red pen here and I have a blue pen here. Not only that, they don't cross over. If I draw my blue line, it's not going to go to that side. If I draw my red line, it's not going to go to that side. Furthermore, Fujitsu does this better than a lot of other manufacturers. You don't have to trigger the side. For example, I can write here 
I can immediately write here. Some other manufacturers, you'd have to tell it to go over here by clicking it once. But with the Quaderno, they're both ready all the time. From here, you can go to your list of the documents you have and choose anything else. And that will allow you to have something on this side and something on that side. It truly does split the entire unit into two halves. Going down the list, you have two page spread. I love this one because now it looks like a book. Like you have the bind in the middle and it truly does flip like that. It doesn't just put that on the next page. It goes to the next two pages and much like with the annotations on the two documents, they don't cross sides. They will never cross sides. And I think that is a really good system in place. If at any point you want to go back, you just say display single page and away you go. After we do this, we have a few more things on the top drop down. So we are going to look at page flow. The reason this is here is because a lot of Japanese content, magazines, manga, etc., go the other way. Yes, this is in English. Yes, it works anywhere in the world, but there is still some domestic content that goes the opposing way. So instead of right to left, it goes left to right. That's the only reason that's there. You have delete all annotations on this page, subscribe to favorite, AKA favorite it, change the document name, copy document. So for example, before you get going, before you do any markups, you can actually copy it to the device root storage and it's just going to say bracket parentheses one. So that gives you the ability to not mess up what you put in or give you another working document that you can just delete all the annotations if you're sharing docs. Also, you can set this to the sleep screen delete it or export it. Exporting will give you all your changes. So why this is important, for example, if you get a document and someone says, you know what, Jonathan, I want you to sign on the X right there. Someone mails you the document. All you do is you open it up, sign it the way you're going to sign it. Go over here, click there and then export it. The export will have your signature on there now. So you don't need to print it off. You don't need to sign. You don't need to scan. You don't need to do any of that. It can be done all on here. Outside of that, the Quaderno can't do much else. And you might think it's a little bit lackluster when it comes to features. And you're right. Compared to the crazy amount of competition we have from iReader and its shaping and Onyx and the crazy amount of graphing capabilities and Bigme with its AI solutions, you might think this falls short, but for what it does, it doesn't. This is truly a tried and tested technology that has been around for around a decade now since the DPT S1 and furthermore the RP1. So this is what they're going with. This is the largest player on a level of consumer electronics, Fujitsu, they make everything from TVs and PCs and laptops and they make escalators, Fujitsu. They make a lot of stuff. These guys are a huge company. And with the shell and overall delivery of the product, they have Sony Semiconductors Japan behind them. They have E-Ink, they have Linfini, part of the E-Ink consortium. There's a lot of brands that kind of went into making this whole thing. And it really does promote itself and execute a perfect productivity solution. It's not trying to be any more than it is. I understand there's no APKs. I understand there's no Google Play. This is our industry. We get it. But this is just something you don't see anymore. Back to basics, easy, everything works, nothing crashes, nothing is third party, nothing is outside. It just works all the time. And the fact that it only has PDFs can be a little bit of a nail in the coffin, but you can get everything from ebooks, you can get everything from your manga, your colors, your your editorials, your journals, basically anything. And there's not really any drawbacks other than the fact that it doesn't have a glow light. That's really my main gripe. But then it probably wouldn't look this good and wouldn't be this close to the surface. Either way, this is everything you can do editing PDFs on a Quaderno.